Um, I had an event called Black Authors on the Rise in October for Black History Month, and I had um, quite a bit of criticism from um, mainly Caucasian people who didn't quite understand, and they would say to me, but why are you separating? And I hear this all the time, why are you separating yourselves? Why is this necessary? Why do you need to have an event? Why do you need to have just black authors? That's racist. That's another conversation. Okay, this is why. This is why. Okay, the child, if we all agree that the generation, he should never read, it's embarrassing they need to know about all of this. It's embarrassing to tell them. It's embarrassing. They are going to be leading the way. 1%, which has now risen to 5, 5% of protagonist characters in children's fiction are for B, from BAME backgrounds, Black, Asian, Minority, Ethnics, a label that we've been given, okay? Now, if you're young and you're growing up and you're not seeing positive images of yourself represented through mainstream media, through books, through music, through all these, these, these images that we're fed, that will give you that unconscious message that you have no value. Your voice doesn't matter. Your story doesn't matter. Your life doesn't matter. So whilst we published people from all backgrounds, I don't discriminate in any way, shape or form. I champion black authors. I champion authors who do not have their voices heard and stories shared. So for so long, we've had our stories told by other people. We've been fed a single narrative and our voices have been stifled and silenced and it upsets me deeply. When I go into to groups, you know, with people that I converse with on a business level and seeing people post things like, can we stop talking about this now and get back to business? That's another, that's another post. That's another video because it's not about that. Because it completely dismisses the issue at hand. It completely dismisses the pain because it doesn't affect me in my world. We see this as a non-issue. That's deeply painful. So yes, I will champion diversity in publishing. Yes, I will champion our young people looking at authors, seeing authors that look like themselves, seeing characters that look like them, doing positive things, loving their hair, loving their skin, loving their culture, championing their culture, singing a positive voice. I will champion that all day, every day, and I hold no apologies for that. So.